The game is what we all love about sport, but what most of the public don't see is the hours and hours and hours that go in to get ready for that game. Training has been a part of an athlete's life for, you know, for hundreds of years. As long as athletes have competed, they've tried to train to get better. The Nike Free 5.0 is a truly awesome shoe. For me, it's as close as we're going to get to having that shoe that can tick the box in most areas. You go for a run, you actually feel the ground. You do speed work, you actually feel secure in it. You actually do agility work and it feels like it should when you try to decelerate through the ground. They're pretty close to having the shoe nailed to be all things to all athletes. When we were designing the, the Nike Free 5.0, we really wanted to take a crafted approach as well as a performance approach. We really wanted to marry the two together. One of the unique inspiration we used in the beginning when we were designing the shoe was the Chinese finger trap. When they're sort of in a static state or loose, they're very flexible, they move with your fingers, but as soon as you go to pull your fingers apart quickly, explosively, they lock down around your fingers. Sort of it was analogous to how training footwear should perform. We really set out to build the best dynamic fit system that provides great lockdown when you're cutting and changing direction. When you're going to make an explosive movement, when you're going to make a hard lateral cut, we want the shoe to, to lock down around your foot. What Nike Free brings to training is a huge performance benefit. The free outsole in the shoe enhances the foot's ability to move naturally, which strengthens muscles. And it does that through extreme flexibility. Our job is to make a shoe perform under all conditions. We're staying at the cutting edge in terms of future research, but we keep coming back to the good old basics. You know, we get guys stronger, we get guys faster, we get guys to move the way nature intended. I think we're on the verge here of really understanding fully human potential.